What is going on YouTube? Crosscut turning back with another turning. Uh, today we're gonna do a bowl. I'm gonna try to make it um, a live edge bowl. We'll see how that works out. Um, those of y'all that don't know, I've, I've done a natural edge bowl before. But I've, I haven't been able to succeed in doing a live edge bowl. And the difference is, is natural edge is just, you know, the curve of the rim is just, uh, you know, flows naturally with the with the curve, like where the bark was and everything. And the only difference between that and a natural, or I'm sorry, a live edge bowl is the live edge bowl still has the bark on it. Natural edge, no bark, uh, live edge with bark. So I think this bark is uh, is sealed pretty well. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll stay that way. So we uh, got the uh, wormwood screw here. We're gonna mount it on there like this. Um, I'm hoping it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of thin. So um, when I originally looked at it, I was looking at this, I was like, oh, that's plenty. And then you flip it over and I guess I wasn't cutting very well on the, uh, with the chainsaw because it's uh, definitely, definitely thinner on this side. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna get it mounted up here um, and see if we can get this from, uh, keep this from turning into a funnel and go from there. All right guys, be right back. Said I am a little worried because I think it's gonna be with putting the uh, mortise in here. I think it's gonna be really thin. Um, so we're either gonna be making a live edge bowl or a live edge funnel. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. So I'll put my uh, mask on and my face shield, and we're gonna get this thing. I drew where the chuck should go in here uh, with pencil and you can see I'm still got a little bit more to go down right here before I can start putting the mortise in um, so uh, we're going to continue that and continue trying to shape the shape the outside profile right. yeah just continue to try to get the profile now So I had a catch in there with the, the small one. Um, I'm gonna, just, uh, I gotta clean this up just a little bit. I think that's gonna be a good enough uh, rim to set the jaws in hopefully. I don't know if I can go any, any deeper than that. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna start sanding the, uh, the outside here. 
All right, so we're gonna start sanding up the outside and uh, then we will uh, flip it over and put the chuck in the mortise. I don't know how many times I knocked that over, so I hope that uh, camera angle wasn't bad the whole time. I know I keep hitting the camera with my, my uh, uh, face mask, so hopefully y'all got to see most of that. But. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna pull out the sanding stuff and then I'll show y'all a little bit of it as normal and then uh, we'll uh, get it flipped over, start hollowing the inside out. All right, so we got the, uh, the drill out with the uh, sanding disc on it. We're gonna go over the outside and start with 80 and uh, work our way through 400. Um, I've got a different idea for finishing this one. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can get it done. I, I don't know how easy it's gonna be since this is a, a, a live edge bowl but we're gonna we're gonna try it out um see if i can do it without uh breaking my fingers because it's, it's gonna be like a, a really good friction polish but i gotta build up a lot of heat with it so uh, we'll see you all find out the same time i do Alright, so you get the gist of it. We're going to keep going over this. Uh, I got a little bit more to do with the 80 grit. Try to get rid of some of this tear out. And then uh, I'll bring it back when uh, when I put the finish on the outside. Alright guys, so we got her all sanded up all the way through 400. Um, there are still some, some tear out in here that I just couldn't get out. I, uh, I just couldn't get it out. So, um, I think that's, for me, that's one of the things about using the uh, carbide is you're always going to have some tear out in there so um, I know there's some people that can probably do it without leaving tear out in it I am not one of those people not yet anyway so I uh, lied to you earlier I'm not going to try a new way of finishing uh, mainly because what I was going to try is um, stuff called OB shine juice uh, so kind of finish it the same way as I always do but instead of the axe polish I use the uh, OB shine juice but it's stuff you have to mix together. It's something you have to create on your own. And uh, apparently I forgot an ingredient. So we will uh, we will be doing that maybe the next time uh, on the next bowl or next turning. So right now we are gonna finish it up as we normally do. Uh, sanding sealer, buff that in, um, ax abrasive paste, you know, get that going and then wipe it off with some denatured alcohol and use the uh, trusty old axe restoring polish. So uh, y'all watched my videos before, y'all know how I finish these things. So um, I'm just gonna kind of speed through this part and uh, let's get going. All right, so we got her all uh, shined up and everything with the axe brace paste. Um, pretty smooth finish. You know, it really helps the, the finish and the, the project when you pet it. So that's the reason you always see woodworkers doing that. They're always petting their wood. So, all right, we're gonna get this flipped around, mounted in the chuck, and then uh, we will start the hollowing out process. All right, so I got it flipped right over. The first thing I want to do, the first thing I'm going to do, I guess I should say, is I'm going to establish with the uh, diamond point tool. 
This is the sharpest one I got. I'm gonna establish exactly where I want that rim to be. Um, I'm probably gonna come in like this uh, and try to save the bark. I did knock a piece of the bark off right here. Um, there's still some under bark there, but none of the big, big bark. So some of this is held on really good. Some of this is really flaky. So hopefully it'll stay on. If not, then uh, we'll just keep what we can. Maybe it'll be a half bark, half bark bowl. So all right. We're gonna get a uh, face mask and uh, face shield back on and we're gonna get to turning. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, rim established. Um, I think we're gonna go with that, and then I'm gonna start trying to hollow, hollow out the inside of this thing. So. All right, so I'm gonna pull out my uh, diamond plate to sharpen the carbide because I don't have any more turns left in it. And uh, sharpen this up real quick and do a couple more passes. It's it's pretty, you got some tear out, but it, it's a pretty smooth transition. I like the transition. I like the the depth and the, the thickness and everything. So I, I'm actually very happy with how that turned out. I just gonna see if I can clean up some of this tear out with a, with a fresh edge. So I'll be right back. So we've got uh, it finished as far as the tools go. I'm gonna go through with the uh, same thing as I did on the outside, 80 to 400, and we'll see if we can. There's still some, still some tear out in here. We'll see if we can get that cleaned up a little bit um, with the sandpaper. Uh, I think the tool at this point is doing more harm than good. All right, good. guys, so we're gonna finish this uh, up the same way we did the outside. Speaking of the outside, I had to re-sand it, so I'm gonna be doing the outside, this part of the outside, not the bottom and the inside at the same time. Live edge. Did lose a little piece of bark right there, but that's okay. Uh, finished it with the axe abrasive paste and polish. Um, just so it know, you know, it really hurts your knuckles when you're, you know, in there and this is spinning around and it hits, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so it is a little bit, the outside ended up being a lot smoother. Um, I don't know what happened between when I finished the outside to when I uh, flipped it over, but the outside got kind of rough. So I went ahead and redid that. And the same thing kind of happened on the inside. I don't, I'm not sure, not sure why that is. 
but um, I'm not gonna resand it. It's uh, it is what it is at this point. So it's not a huge bowl, not very big. Um, you know, from what I've been told, size does not matter. Uh, so it's about uh, five inches from here to here, uh, four and a half, and then at the tallest point, which is gonna be on this lip, uh, two and a quarter tall. So, uh, but I like it. I like the way it turned out. Um, I think it looks pretty good let me know what you think down in the comments uh and and also give, give me a name for this thing I, I don't really know what to call it um other than you know live edge bowl <laughs> so original i know uh so so let me know what you think um give me a name for it in the comments and uh i'll let you know next week uh which name i picked to put it up in the the etsy store that's probably where this is going to go is in the etsy store I have a feeling the wife is gonna want this one. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'll find out here in a few minutes. I go up there and bug her while she's, you know, doing a real job. Like I said, all in all, I really like it. Um, I really like the way it's, the way it's turned out, so. Uh, on a different note, I know, I say it every night, or I say it every night, God bless, I can't even talk. I say it every time, not every night. Uh, support on this channel is, is freaking phenomenal. Really appreciate everyone, all the, the likes, the subscribes uh the comments and everything so uh, i think we're up to like 68 subscribers somewhere in there so let's keep uh keep pumping that up so if you haven't already make sure you're liking it hit that thumbs up for me hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification make sure that uh make sure you get notified when you click the bell it's going to say personalized all none something like that make sure you hit all and that'll notify you every time that that I have a new video that comes out. So uh, it's usually Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. But that's subject to change. So make sure uh, make sure you hit that bell so you know when it's coming out. And uh, if you could, share the video out. Uh, if you think anybody you know would like it, enjoy it, share the video out. It'll help uh, help it get it out there too. The, the more people that view it, the more people that might like it, the bigger we can grow this channel. So I appreciate all the support that I've gotten. Uh, it's been, been fantastic. So um other than that that's it there's gonna be some beauty shots as normal at the end uh thanks for tuning in again this week i know i've said uh probably a thousand times i'm sorry but um there it is again so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there beauty shots at the end let me know what you think down in the comments guys and we'll see y'all next week have a wonderful rest of your week guys